Okay, this is part two of going through the list file, the output from the Q analyses. Here we have where we've already opened the file. We're looking at the basically what's the representative sort. Although here in the article on the bioinformatics course, um, I've concentrated on the top six most degree statements and least degree or least or most unlike my view. And if we wanted to, we could go into, we could actually take a little peek at what that sorting grid looked like. Right, so there's, whoops, there's the sorting grid. Right, and so we've gone in, so one, two, three, four, five, and just one from point two. Probably should have just, could have just concentrated on the first five. That would have been five in the, and fine in the lowest five right and but I'll remind you that when we go through here and we get back to our tables for our 2006 data again right I only show the grid position this is not a very high research oriented kind of journal and those are the ones that I've had the most success with and so here we see that we have grid position or sorry Z score and I'm replacing it with grid position <clears throat> and so I can go through and there's my top five and I could you know if I wanted to I could maybe sometimes I go in and I just underline I go one two three four five and I might just go through and just use the underline tool just to help me figure out where I should stop um, and then I could do the same thing here for some reason there's often one or two left over. Now this one's not too bad. So I could go one, two, three, four, five. So I'd have to underline this one, for instance, if that's what I was concentrating on. Whoops. I've lost my ability to underline. So I'll underline those. Just gives me an idea. Now I can look at some of the statements. And, and a lot of times when I go through this the first time, I might start typing some statements my oh, sorry that's actually factor two I can undo um, I can start thinking about some of my initial thoughts relative to I forgot this doesn't have many statements right so our groupment outside of class having the class material available online helped me learn people in our group worked well together I learned much of what I need from this class from the lab I learned much of what I needed for this class from the lecture so I might start typing ideas down as far as what these statements might make me think of <clears throat> as I go through them. Um, here are the actually the bottom five, right? So class time would have been better spent with the instructor. Uh, instructors were not available outside of class. I would not be interested in enrolling in a graduate program in bioinformatics. The exams do not reflect the material. The late meeting time of the class made it difficult for me to stay awake or something like that. Those statements get truncated, right? And so, right, <clears throat> I might write down, <clears throat> type in what I thought of this. And then here we have the next set, right? I would be interested in enrolling in a graduate program. I feel that I could contribute to the development of the field of bioinformatics. This course was well organized. I feel that I have a strong understanding of bioinformatics. So this one I might start typing that this one generally has, right, a very, very positive view of bio bioinformatics interest in future um, in bioinformatics right so I might jot some things like that down as I go through then I might scan down and wait until I get I already pre-highlighted some things the next table of interest is the distinguishing factors for factor one here we only have one table because there are only two factors. And so the statements that distinguish factor one from factor two also distinguish factor two from factor one. And so this might give us a little more insight into the two views that exist here, right? So we have our group met outside of class, right? Number two, no, even though they're the ones that had a positive view having class material available online help me learn right yes for number one